Hi, and welcome to the Word of the Week. This week's word is age. And this was uh, requested uh, as a word by Mr. Steve Eisenberg. So, Steve, this one's for you. Age. Um, I have to deal with a lot of different age-related topics uh, because of the nature of our programming, since we start at age three and go all the way up to uh, age whatever. So, there's some interesting little uh, things that go on on each side of the spectrum. Now, here's one of the things that I have to deal with on pretty much a weekly basis. Uh, someone will contact me and say, hey, you know, I have a child and I really want to get them into martial arts because uh, they really are struggling. They, they uh, don't have much discipline. They're not focused. They're constantly running around. They don't want to pay attention. They don't want to listen. Uh, and they just really need martial arts so they can develop focus. And I'll say, great, how old is your child? And they'll say four. And I say, duh, of course they have all of those issues because they're four years old. You see, when the child is young, they are going to need to act like a child. Our brains do not fully develop until we're in our late teens to early 20s. So one of the, the things that I see so often that causes a level of frustration with parents is they are expecting their children to act and to reason like adults. Let me tell you something. It's not going to happen. It is not physically possible. You see, for children, it's important that they move. Actually, for, the, for adults, it's important that we move because our brains are actually designed to learn better with motion. We learn better after we have done some type of physical activity. It helps us to focus our brains. So for children, running around and doing all the things that they do are their ways of learning about the world. They function primarily from that emotional portion of the brain. This is especially true once they reach their teenage years. Once we become adults, then we begin to think differently because we rely more on the frontal lobes of the brain. So, one tip about age is do not expect your children to act like adults or to think like adults because they're not. And don't expect adults to act like children or be treated like children because they're not. We have to learn to act our age and to understand the ages that we are working with. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, as we get older, we have to understand that our bodies begin to change. Our metabolisms change. Uh, the, the, our ability to uh, recuperate changes. So a lot of things that we can do when we were younger, we need to be very careful about doing when we're older. We need to uh, oftentimes uh, figure out ways to work around or to change or to lessen the intensity or sometimes we have to completely give up on some of the things that we used to do because they're just no longer good for our bodies. It's not a bad thing. It's maturity. It's moving on to the next stage and I know for a lot of people as they get older they fight against the fact that our bodies do need more rest. They do need more time to recuperate that we can't do the things that we used to do that's okay. We need to learn to be comfortable with who we are. Um, I have a, there's a, a movie that, that I, I love. It's a really not a very good movie, but I just uh, love a lot of the scenes in it. But there's a scene uh, where there's a, an old martial arts master, and, and uh, there, no one's not quite, uh, quite sure how old he really is. And uh, his student says to him something about being old, and how old is he? And he said, uh, for a head of lettuce, that he's very old. Uh, for a mountain, uh, he's very young, before a man, just right. right. And that's what we have to think about, is that we are just right for who we are at this moment. I was recently interviewed uh, on my 50th birthday about what age would I like to be. Would I rather be a, a teenager or in my 20s or 30s or 40s? And I said, I'm happy with who I am right now because I had all these wonderful experiences and now I have more experiences to look forward to. So, accept your age understand your age, understand uh, what the strengths are of your age, also understand what the limitations of your age are. And remember, you're never too old to learn anything. Kung Fu is all about what? Time and energy. When we get a little older, maybe we have to put in a little more uh, time because we don't have all the energy that uh, an 18 or 20 year old has. But what we lack in energy, we make up for in knowledge and experience. All right, so I hope that uh, this gives you a little insight on the, the wonders of age. And uh, remember, whatever age you are, that's the perfect spot for you right now. All right, we hope you enjoyed this, and we hope to see you next week.